Hello Year 3 and welcome to today's maths lesson, Wednesday the 13th of January. Today's lesson we're going to be doing some more work on equivalent fractions. So to be successful today you're going to need to remember and recognise which is the denominator and the numerator in the fraction and you're going to need to know that the denominator tells us how many equal parts the whole thing has been split into. So let's have a look. Today we're going to start off by doing some counting in fractions and I'm wondering if you can tell me by looking at the number line what fractions it is we're going to be completing, going to be counting in today. Yes that's right, we're going to be counting in quarters. If you have a look at my number line the whole number is between 0 and 1. And that whole number has been divided or split into 1, 2, 3, 4 equal parts. So we are counting in quarters. So let's have a look then and count along with me. Don't forget to say the numbers when we get to the blanks. So let's go. Zero, one quarter. Did you say two quarters? Then you're right. Three quarters this time. And then four quarters or one whole. We can show that as four quarters as well. Let's carry on. So one or four quarters. One and one quarter. One and two quarters. What's the next one going to be? Did you get that? One and three quarters. Tricky one now. What's the next one going to be? Let's see. Did you say one and four quarters? Well, one and four quarters is the same as... Oh, can't see it there. One and four quarters is the same as two whole ones. Then carrying on with our counting, we've got two and one quarter, two and two quarters. So let's try that again. I'm going to put my, put my blanks back and see if we can go along the line nice and quickly counting in quarters. So zero, one quarter, one, one and two quarters, two and one quarter, two and two quarters. Let's see if you remember to say the correct numbers as we go. Zero, one quarter, two quarters, three quarters, one whole one, one and one quarter, one and two quarters, one and three quarters, two, two and a quarter, two and two quarters, and then we carry on two and three quarters, three. Now, let's have a look at this number line. What happens if we don't start our number line at zero? I want you to have a pause, pause the video for a moment and have a look and see if you can work out what the missing fractions are going to be on this number line. 
pause the video and have a 30 second think. Okay, now let's count together and see if you were correct. So, five. Five and one quarter. Five and two quarters. Five and three quarters. Well, what comes next? Six, that's right. And we've got six and one quarter. Six and two quarters. Six and three quarters. And then seven. And then what comes next after seven? Seven and one quarter, well done. And then seven and, oops, seven and two quarters. Great job. Now, let's remind ourselves of some of the fraction vocabulary that we're going to be using today. Can you tell me how many equal parts the whole is split into? What is the word that shows us how many equal parts the whole thing has been split into. It's the blue number on this fraction here that shows one half. It's telling me that my whole thing has been split into two equal parts, but what's its name? It's the word that goes down. Does that give you a clue? Yeah, that's right, it's the denominator. Now then, what about this other word at the top? The red number in the fraction here, telling us the number of parts that we have. Oh, what's the word for that? Number of parts that we have. That's a big, big clue. Can you get it? That's right. It's the numerator. Starts the same as the word number. Numerator number. So that tells us how many parts of the whole we've got. Now, another key word we need to remember today is equivalent. We've been learning about fractions that are equivalent this week. And see if you can tell me what the word equivalent means. Go on a bit louder, I can't hear you. That's right. Equivalent means equal to or the same as. So we can say that one half is equivalent to two quarters. Or we can show it using an equal symbol to show that it's the same as or equal to. Now, for today's lesson, we've got three tasks for you to complete. And there are three different levels for tasks one and two. You will need to choose which level you want to try. The main tasks are going to be called green level. If you're finding that too tricky, have a go at the yellow level tasks. But if you're feeling really confident and want to challenge yourself, have a go at the blue tasks. Now the first task is to write the fraction of the shape that is shaded. So let's have a look here. We've got a rectangle that's been shaded. It's been split into how many equal parts? It's split into two equal parts. So that's our denominator. Tells us how many parts it's been split into and how many of those parts is shaded. Well, it's one of those parts is shaded. So we can say that one half of this shape has been shaded. Now the next job is to shade in the second shape so that it matches the first shape. So let's have a look. Well, we've got the whole of the bottom part there shaded in. Well, I'm sure your shading will be much neater than mine. Just doing this nice and quickly. So, we can see now 
that our shape has been split into how many parts altogether? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight parts altogether. So our denominator for our fraction is going to be eight. But how many of those parts have been shaded in? Well, we've got one part, two parts, three parts, four parts shaded in. So we can say that the fraction shaded in this second shape is four eighths. So this is now telling us that one half is equal or the same as four eighths. If we look at the two shapes, we can see that the same part, the same amount of each shape has been shaded in. I'll show you again with another circle before you have a try. So let's have a look, have a look at this one. So with the circle here, the shape has been split into how many pieces altogether? Well, we've got one, two, three pieces altogether. So our denominator for our fraction is going to be a three. How many of those are shaded in? Well, we can see that two parts are shaded in. So our numerator is going to be two. So two thirds of the shape is shaded. Now let's have a look, see if we can shade in the, sh the other blank circle to match. So we need to go there and there and all around there. So quickly shading those pieces in. Right, so let's see. How many pieces has the whole thing been split into? How many parts are there all together? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six parts all together. And how many of those parts have I shaded? Well, I've got one, two, three, four shaded yellow. So this can now show me that two thirds is equivalent to four sixths. Now I'd like you to pause the video while you have a try at the task. If you want to replay and watch the explanation again, that's absolutely fine. But you have a go now and remember to choose the challenge that you want. We've got yellow, green or blue challenge. Now pause the video while you complete task one. Brilliant, well done. Now, ready for task two. In task two, we're going to be answering some reasoning questions. And we're going to have to think about our fractions again and our equivalent fractions. So let's have a look at this question I've got up on the board. Sam ate half a pizza. Which fraction shows the fraction he ate? Well, if he ate half a pizza, I know that we write a fraction of a half like this. So let's have a look, circle it. So we need to be putting a circle around the fraction which shows half of the pizza. Well, let's see, we've got one quarter, two fifths, four sixths and four eighths. But we don't have a half there. So let's have a think. One of these must be the same as a half or equivalent to a half. So let's have a look how we can work that out. Well, we've got our pizza here and over here is another pizza that I prepared earlier because I've made my pizza into a whole thing, which shows split into two equal parts, which is one half. But what I'm going to do now is have a look. One quarter. Well, let's split our... Oh, we don't want that colour. Let's split our pizza into quarters. 
is one quarter the same as one half? Well, no, it's not, is it? We can see here that one quarter is less than one half. And in fact, two quarters is the same as one half. So that's not the right answer. Let's have a look again. Splitting it into fifths. Well, we've got one fifth. Well, oh, not going to be able to do it like that. Let's see. Let's draw these lines on. Let me take let me take this circle away for now to split into fifths. So if we make our pizza a whole pizza, we're going to have five equal pieces and two of those fifths is not equal to a fifth. Let's get rid of those lines. Four sixths. So can we split our whole pizza into six equal parts? Oh, I can bring my circle back for that one. So if I have a look here, I've made six equal parts. Is one half equal to four of those? Well, no, it's not. So that's not our correct answer. Let's see if we can do four eighths. So let's split it into quarters. Then if we make our quarters in half again, divide each quarter into two parts, then that leaves us with eight pieces. My whole thing's now split into eight, and we've got one, two, three, four of those are the same as one half. So we can circle that on our answer. Now you've got some questions similar to this. Have a look, have a go, pause the video, and if you need to have a look back at the explanation, you can always rewind and watch again. Off you go. Great job. Now, for task three, I'd like you to follow this link. It will take you to a game which you can have a try at. If I go here, I'll show you quickly what we need to do. We need to match. I'm on level one. We need to match the equivalent fractions. So I can see straight away that one half there matches four eighths there. I can see by looking at the shape that one quarter is the same as three eighths. And then I can see that one third is the same as four twelfths. So have a go at that. And don't forget to let your teachers know how you got on. Remember now, if you can send your work into your teacher by half past three, that's great. It just gives us time to be able to um, have a look at it and let you know. And then the next lesson for Thursday will be available from five o'clock today, Wednesday. Have fun and I'll see you tomorrow.